Growing up homeschooled, my parents tried to instill as much educational activities in our daily life as much as possible. When we weren't doing the regular curriculums of math or English or spelling, we would be doing crossword puzzles or solving Sudoku or even watching episodes of Between the Lions as our downtime. Yeah, my parents were very serious when it came to our education. I even remember the time when my sisters and I were visiting my mom after the birth of my younger brother, and my dad made sure to bring our Disney princess math books. Yeah, our math books. But what peaked on their creativity on exploring different ways to ensure that their children were learning? I would say the most interesting experiment has to be the very thing they regretted which was the introductory of V-Smile. VTech was founded in 1976 in Hong Kong by Alan Wong and Stephen Luen. As the company began to build a name for themselves, they started manufacturing electronic games in the 1980s. Their first product called Lesson One was shown and displayed at the New York Toy Fair in February of 1980. As the years went by, the company went on to develop other products and even branched out to the foam business and developing personal computers. Despite their other ventures, they will always be remembered for their contribution to children's education by being the pioneers in the ELP industry, ELP meaning electronic learning products, which leads me to the 2004 console, V-Smile. Released on August 4, 2004, V-Smile is an educational home video game console that is targeted for children at the ages between 3 and 6. The game system is fairly easy for children to use not only for its eye-catching colors, but the controller is distinctly shaped like an animal paw that has uncomplicated buttons. One giant orange button in the middle and four colorful ones at the top. Next to the paw is the joystick, which is the color purple and is easy to handle. Smart ridges are used to play on the game system. From Disney to Nickelodeon, several of the games features characters teaching math and the alphabet, numbers, and spelling. Now, the smart ridges are pretty big. They aren't like DS cards, you know, Nintendo DS cards. They're very thick. Their signature game, Alphabet Park Adventure, features several learning activities where kids get to learn letters and the alphabet, shapes, colors, phonics, vocabulary, and much more. Designed as an amusement park, the gameplay features two kids visiting their grandfather who is the creator of Alphabet Park. Sound familiar? Grandpa presses the wrong button and power rings are scattered across the park. He sends his kids to find them and before we discuss the park's layout, let's talk about the character design real quick. I had both the original 2004 and 2007 game, probably because it broke or we lost it, but I think at one point I was confused as a child because seeing how vastly different the designs were it kind of put me off as a kid. There are six sections to the park. Toy Shop, Monsterville, Jungle Ride, Bug World, Secret Garden, and Fun Fair. The first attraction in Alphabet Park, Toy Shop requires you to collect rings while making sure to jump on letters, trampoline, all while making sure you avoid bouncing balls from above and wind up hippo toys, plus robots that fall from the sky. Monsterville. A creepy voice announces that you have to fill in the letters that fit the screen. Now that's just the first part. The second part, the scary part, the hard part, is when you have to jump on the boxes and avoid the pop-up monsters. That always creeped me out. You also had to jump on the magical umbrella and avoid floating owls. Jungle Ride. In this game, you had to avoid turtles as you rolled the padded duck. You also had to avoid the padded crocodiles which popped up every second. The game had you run through the water lane matching the letters with the picture. Bug World. This game focused on shapes and colors where you had to find the exit while matching the right shapes. All while climbing vines and ladders while avoiding bugs and birds. Secret Garden. Located at a garden, the game has you float on a balloon and play a picture word association. All while avoiding bees, birds, and worms. Fun Fair. Focused on spelling, you had to ride on an air balloon while popping bubble letters that completed the uncompleted word. You also had to avoid creepy clowns along the way. Despite the potential V-Smile had to be an enchantment to kids' education, parents were not too happy with the 99 plus problems the electronic caused, including my own parents. Here is one review one upset mother had to say about the V-Smile system. My mother brought my three sons a V-Smile console for Christmas last year, and as grandmas do, went overboard buying every single game she could find. 
She also purchased extra controllers, charger, adapter, you name it. The toy began powering itself off after the second or third use and never came back on. Exchanged it for a new one that did the same thing. Exchanged that for a V-Smile Pocket hoping for better luck. And that did the same thing. After about 5 uses, it also could not release the cartridges, wrote to VTech and was continually insulted and patronized by their associates. Never been so upset with any company in my life. I have done research into this and found many parents say the same. Look this up, you will find it. VTech told me to keep the games and the unit cleaner. Now I ask how dirty it could be after a couple of uses. Complete waste of a lot of grandma's money and three heartbroken kids. I do not recommend. You can find many other comments voicing the same or having different problems with the game set. Amongst unsatisfied customers, VTech has also dealt with other problems within their company, including a 2015 data breach of 6.3 million people. Despite the many problems VTech had, VSmile gave me and my siblings so many fond memories of fun learning, spending time together, and simply memories. And I'm not the only one who feels this way. This comment reads, My brother and I, 18 and 22, still talk about this game system to this day. The games actually helped us learn a lot and taught us how to use teamwork at such a young age. Really helped us with our math, reading, etc. in the best way possible. It was like learning without the hassle. I will definitely be buying one when I have kids. Hopefully they won't leave an angry comment. Let me know what you guys want me to review next and I will see you guys next time. Bye!